Hello, welcome to the American Foodie. So today I will show you how to make proper french fries. So I have here two potatoes that, two rather small potatoes. So you could use larger potatoes, I just happen to have smaller ones on hand. So I took two of them and now I will, they've been peeled and now I'll cut them into wedge shapes. Same thing with my other potato. Good. Okay, so now I have a pot of water that's been boiling. So first I add a nice bit of salt. Give that a second to boil off. And then I drop my potatoes in there. Okay, so now I let this boil for about two minutes. Okay, so now that a couple minutes have transpired, I'm gonna now just prod with a fork and I feel that the potatoes give me a slight bit of resistance, so, which is good, so... They will now come out of the water. Because and now what I do is I put my pot over a, a slightly hotter than medium heat. And then I pour in a good bit of canola oil. So I pour it so it's a, my uh, pan is about a quarter of the way full. The reason is that I I don't want to fill up any higher than that because the oil will expand both as a result of the potatoes going in and the increased temperature of the oil. So we'll now give this the oil a second to heat up. Okay, so now that my oil has gotten decently hot, now I'll drop my boiled potatoes in. Now we'll wait for those to dry off. Okay, so now the fries, uh, I, now the potatoes are done after about a couple minutes. So, I know the potatoes are done for the first fry because I don't really hear any actual bubbling, but I instead just hear a smooth hiss in the oil. So now what I'll do is I'll use my trusty spider to fish the wedges out. Okay, and then I drop them onto my plate lined with the paper towel. So now what I do is, is I re, uh, bring the heat of the oil up to high medium. Actually, it's set it closer to high now. Now I wait for the oil to increase in temperature again.
I need to give that a second to do, heat up. And then I f drop my fries back in. And now I fry until I, they, they are a nice golden brown. Okay, so now that I see my fries are turning a nice golden color, I can take them out for the last time from the frying pan. Back onto the same lined plate. Okay, turn the heat off. Nice season with a bit of salt. Okay, and there you have it. Those are my homemade french fries. Enjoy!